We invested in some equipment that does force dynamometry. Force dynamometry is basically you put somebody in a position specific to the shoulder or the elbow or the hip, whatever muscle you want to test. You have them contract against the machine we have, which then gives them a reading of the amount of force they're producing in newtons for that muscle. So you can quantitatively look at asymmetries. You can say, hey, Joe, your right shoulder does 25 newtons of external rotation force. Your left is 50. That's why your right shoulder might hurt. Or there's, there's pieces to the puzzle. And then when you look at rotational athletes or surfers, you typically have a dominance, right? Like if you're a regular surfer, your right hip might be stronger because you're in your back leg. Definitely. Goofy may be the opposite. So, Definitely. and then why does your left hip hurt when, you, you know, when, you're, when you're asking to do other things? So like those, that type of approach using science to then quantify asymmetries and to really build a profile is what um, we're doing over there, which has been pretty fun and cool because you're you're actually tangibly seeing progress made. Like, hey, dude, yeah, you feel stronger, cool, but like, are you actually stronger? Yeah, and you are. How it, and how is it working in your sport? Like, how do you notice a tangible difference in right. your performance? For baseball guys, like they might see their velocity and their pitch increase or the speed of their throw. Velocity could be a function of bat speed, like how fast do they swing the bat? Uh, how fast do they throw the baseball from the mound? For basketball, it might be a jump height increase. So that's the model is like, let's create athlete profiles for their specific sport. So surfers do not train like marathon runners you have to manipulate the program variables to accommodate that person and then you have to tangibly see where they're at at the starting point and then middle and then end and every like maybe two to four appointments we may reassess some of these things